Hello and welcome back to me playing Crusader Kings 2. Um, I Yes, this is a new series. I kind of let the Rise of India one kind of go. It, it doesn't appeal to me. And if there's one thing I've learned with doing these Let's Plays is if it doesn't appeal anymore, just, just let it be. Just let it die a uh, you know, quiet little death. So here we are. We are in Italy. And I am Duchess Matilda. I decided I I tried this start at the very beginning when I first got the game um, and I didn't have much idea of what what to do um, and I just kind of messed around with it and I didn't get very far now we have some good stats I from what I understand they are randomly generated but this is fantastic and no I did not reload it like lots of times to get these stats I just it, I just re just started up the game so yeah, let's get to, get to it. So we want to pick an ambition, as always. We want to get married. And we have to have a matrilinear marriage, otherwise the game will end with with us. Which I think is what, what happened to me the first time around. I didn't realize I had to do that. It was a very short-lived game. As always, I like congenital traits as opposed to alliances. It's just who I am. Let's have a look. So we had a genius and I saw a strong guy. And stat-wise, I think we're okay to like, you know, compensate. Like if we have a strong guy, he, his stats don't have to be too great. Okay, so that's just a two. So let's go with them. Um, he's only 11, but he is a prince of Denmark. But I'm a woman and I only have a certain window to where I can have kids. So let's go with genius. Gavril of Mikhailovich. Mikhailovich? Mikhailovich. Um, he is, yeah, let's go for that. We won't get much prestige for it, but hey, at least we're not losing anything, right? My domain is too big. Um, let's see. Now, it has been a, f a while since I have, well, that's actually quite true. I went through a little spree of playing on my own where I was, um, I was actually messing around in Spain. Um, but yeah, let's have a look. So, we are, I don't think the gray color is kind of, there we go. Okay, so we have up there, down there, over there. Oh my goodness, yeah, we have a lot of land. Alright, so we can give away some land. Do we have some... Let's see, let's check out our court. So our steward's pretty good. Uh, we should probably reward him for being a steward. So let's give him... Bressica. Okay, let's... What? Come back here. Oh, I lost my marshal too. <laughs> Oh, let's do it. Wait, what? Did I grant him independence? No. I'm his liege. Vassals. Rank. I'm his liege. Why can I not appoint him? Okay, let's give it one day. Okay, let's see if I can appoint him now. Yeah, there he is. See? I'm not crazy. Sometimes this game does weird things and makes you think that you're crazy. Alright. Okay, so we also need a marshal. Ew. Alright. So 10, I'm not going to appoint him. That's just bad. So, this is a great time to find a marshal with, um, let's see, men. Not in prison, any marriage, not a ruler, not a great house, yes an adult, yes, yes. So we have a guy here with 15 skill, that's pretty good. Let's go with him. Oh, invite to court, no. You. Oh, and a title. And you can have Corsica. Wait, what? Alright, let me see. Uh, Ferrara, Firenze, Palma. Let's, let's see what the du jour duchy is. So it's just Firenze, Siena, and that one. And I have all that. So I can have Ferrara. Oh, yeah, I have lots of stuff I can hand out. Those two. That was not you, right? No. It was you. Grant Lander title, you can have Ferrara. Congratulations. 
All right, so now we have a new marshal. <laughs> we lost our spy master. This is like, this is like a web. All right, so yeah, congratulations. And oh god, let's find another one with good intrigue then. Oh yeah, oh wait, not the possessed guy. Oh, you want to go? No. You. No. Hmm. Okay. That's him. Antonio. Yep. Can I invite you to court? No. Nope. Nobody nobody wants me to bah. No reason to move. What if I was gonna give you land? That's reason to move. Alright, let's do this differently. Um Let's go to the Kingdom of Croatia and see if there are any claimants that would want to come to my court. Claimants? Nope. Probably because I'm a woman. I kind of wanted to um, see if I could download and install a mod, but I'm not very good with that. But like a mod that would... Nope. Make it so that women and men inherit equally on equal rights. Very ahistorical, but hey. But um, yeah, no, I, I, I kind of chickened out. I have to look into that a little bit more deeper. Claimants, okay. Nobody's gonna come to my court, so I'm just gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Who are you, Pisa? All right, let's just go with what we have, and maybe down the line we'll get somebody better. You're good. All right, and I am actually okay with my domain limit now, so that's all good. All this grey is kind of blah. Alright, let's check my vassals and see how we're doing. Their opinion is actually not that bad. Um, Ratislav. Oh wait, wrong one. This is me. I have to check me, check my vassals. So Alberto of Palma, he is my strongest vassal. He's over there. Let's go and make him happy. I don't know what my uh, my guy does, but he makes him happy, and that's all that matters, right? Let's train some troops, collect some taxes. Yeah, we only have oops, only have eighty-eight gold, and well, let's study some technology. Let's have a quick look here. Um, technology. Let's see. Wow. We're actually ahead in military organization. Is there anybody anywhere that's really, really white compared to us? Not really. Down there. <laughs> okay. Um. Rome seems to be good. And over here. Actually, let's send him down there. Why not? Abydos. Yeah, let's send him to, to Stargate SG-1. Uh, study technology. There we go. It's actually right next door to Abydos, but hey. And my Pope probably does not like me. Oh, he likes me. Wow. We're both diligent, zealous, and yeah. That's awesome. Let's send my uh, my uh, guide over there anyway to make him happy. Maybe we can ask for some money. All right, let's get going. So I am waiting for my husband to come back to me. Oh, awesome. Um, let's go for the prestige. At this point, awesome. At this point, I I like to keep the prestige because I I need people to like me. Uh, I want to become king of Italy, so in the process I need to have a sex change operation. I don't know how, you know, how how many of those are done. Yeah. My courtier might fancy me. He has terrible stats. It's not appropriate. I mean, come on. Have you seen my husband? He's a stud muffin. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck is pumping his arms over there. 
Yeah, he might be shy and deceitful and arbitrary and proud, but, you know, he's a genius. Although the shyness does not describe Chuck in any way. But yeah, this is my my stud muffin husband. Why would I sleep with someone who is so inferior? So, now if I do see a strong guy, then yeah, I might. Okay, so I am actually a double duchess. I, oh, I have those two down there too. Haha. Uh -huh. Cool. Cool, cool. So, Spoleto and Firenze. Do I have... I, I, well, since I have the Dejour Duchess, I don't have any claims, do I? On anything. Do, 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 so I, don't, I have the entire duchy. Let's see. Spoleto. It's the Dejour. Yep. But, I could possibly become Queen of Italy at some point. Let's see, once once people start liking me and once I have a baby in my belly, let's start going and expanding a little bit. How do my uh let's see. Let's see. Uh, people don't particularly like me. Probably because I'm a woman. No, they don't seem to have any issue with the fact that I'm a woman. They just, you know, don't have much opinion of me. And that's fine. Not much going on. Let's see if I, I think let's check out the intrigue thing. I think I can go on a pilgrimage. Yes. This could make for a very short let's play. Um, let's go to Jerusalem. Let's just hop down to Rome and say hi to to hi to the Pope. Okay, so my vassal likes me better. That's awesome. My journey begins. Oh, my low my my husband really likes me. Your low character is the subject of Greek plays. Um. Okay. Religious differences. All right, so we're gonna send him, you know, some money. He's probably gonna sl swipe that from the community chest. Um, all right, and then before we do that, okay, let's see. We are not charitable, so we're gonna go for that one. That's a good trait to have. That will make the Pope love us even more, and our husband too. See, he likes the fact that we are. Well, he doesn't actually care. Oh, so whilst on pilgrimage. I became pregnant. Actually, I have found out that, that that trait actually comes in sooner. It just is hidden for a few months. Um, because I've tried... I'm trying to remember what I was trying to do, but I was trying to do something to a, a woman and I couldn't do it because she was pregnant, even though she wasn't... Oh, I couldn't divorce her, I believe. Something like that. I couldn't... Yeah. But she was pregnant, uh, it turned out. And once she had given birth, I could get rid of her. Yes, this sounds so horrible. All right, so he's going to become a father. He really loves me now. So now we're going to tell him. What? Oh. Thousand road lead men forever to Rome. Yay. So when we get back, we're going to tell him to, you know, get rid of his horrible faith. No, 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 no. I don't want to be cynical. I was zealous. Okay, well, at least I'm a pilgrim. And my husband, how much does he love me? Quite, a mu quite much. And now he's going to love me even more. See? Plus five. So even even the fact that I told him to convert that minus ten, it makes up for it because they, we have the same religion. Well, I don't want to be cynical. I did not lose the trait. I'm still cynical. But I'm pregnant and cynical. So that's all okay, right? Why do I have such low martial skill? I don't know. I don't know. My my men are not really doing much. He's improved relations one. He is he's not done anything. Humble, honest, lustful, and kind. Do you have anybody else we can appoint? If I hit the right button, that would be easy, right? Uh, no, 
he's really the best one we got. Oh, that'd be so tempting to appoint my husband, but then I would lose my half stats that I get from him. Yep. Oh well. So the state learning is pretty poor. Maybe that's why it's not going up that much. Which is actually something I want to do in this, this playthrough, by the way. I want to try and convert to the Cathar religion if we can find it somewhere. I want to try I want to try on the the heresies. Let's have a haircut. I don't like my hair. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Cut. Alright, so we have Valerio. I like that name. And I Oh god, no. No. Let's pray to Jesus. And of course I'm cynical. So Jesus is going to be like, no way, you're cynical. Please live, please live, please live. We've seen enough. Oh. Thank God, minus four health and I survived it. That's awesome. Now I don't understand why they get mnemonic from childbirth. Is that just Paradox being a little bit lazy, which we've known they've, they've been? Because you wouldn't get pneumonia from childbirth, you would get a lot of other things. Like complications and stuff. I don't know. But at least I lived. And I got a new ha hairdo to celebrate it. And my people are doing nothing at all. You guys are terrible. How many troops do I have? Let's go kill someone. I have 5,800. Do I have any claims on anything? Nada. I cannot attack anyone. All right, so he now likes me quite a bit. Awesome. There we go. Let's let's go and fabricate a claim. Let's find a single a single county duke. You. Let's try and absorb a lot of uh, Italy and then try and become queen slash king. Can I actually join factions? Start a faction. Senior succession. Baudewein, Berthold. I want myself. I want to become queen. I have a feeling that that is not... They're, they're currently on elective, aren't they? Uh, Ignatic elective. So... We need to change that to Agnatic Cognatic. Gavok, well, elective. Should probably change that to elective at some point too. Actually, yes, let's do that now. I'm gonna nominate my son. Um. So let's see what kind of factions. My. He wants to try and kill my son. Right? Yeah. That is not cool. Why do you not like me? Oh, okay. I can do that back to you, you know. He's not gonna end pot. Wait, is he even... Oh, he's not part of my... Uh... Alright, well, if that's the case, he's not even part of my, um, my duchy, so I can't ask him to stop. But... I can do that. Let's see if there's anybody else. You. There we go. That's worth it. He's outraged by succession law change. <laughs> but it's for your own good. Um, eh, better not risk it. So, there's no faction for Agnatic Cognatic. Is it even possible? Probably not. Um, nope. Oh, wait, wait, was that my son? Nope. 
Heinrich. So a lot of plots to have kids we put on the throne. There we go. Failure! No! Is he paranoid? Of course he is. Of course. Okay, what else can we do? I can convert my, to my leisure's culture. Oh, what will that make me? German. Heck, heck no. I'm Italian and proud. I can soon hold a summer fair. Alright. He's really, uh... No, look. I, I am not I'm not doing anything with that guy. Let's marry him off to someone. Um, there. Bye. He's not attractive. There you go. Am I lustful or something? No, I'm not. My husband really doesn't like me. Again? My brother-in-law. Hold on, who's he? Oh. Now see, why my son is upset, I don't know because I did it for him so that he can get all the land when I die. Not just pieces of it. Yes, those things are death traps. Again failure. Oh my goodness. This is because he's paranoid. I mean we'll get him in the end. Oh, we're at war. I don't know who Niklaus is, but you're an idiot. Oh, it's his marshal. Uh-oh. So yeah, we're at war with France right now. Nobody's surprised there, right? What are they worrying about? Ibelin. Ibelin, actually. Ibelin is... There. I can't remember if that's in Dijon, Belgium or the Netherlands. Here it's just Flandern. I guess that would be Belgium. Belgium. And Holland. Alright, so the Pope loves me. Why is... Oh my gosh, he's wounded. Why does he dislike me now? Cynical, of course. And dishonorable. Alright, well, I'm going to leave this at an episode. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, let's see. I, th I think my, my leash has got it. Yeah, we're going to continue to try and kill Count uh, Joffret. So hopefully in the next episode, even though he's paranoid, he will die. So I will see you then. Bye-bye.